Hey, welcome to this series of videos where I create an app from scratch. This is part four. In this video, I will show you how I added sharing a screenshot feature. So let's take a look at a brief demo. Here I have a mind map opened. I click on the share button to get the share target dialog. And I'm going to select Twitter. Great. Opens up the Twitter Compose uh, window with the screenshot attached already. I will put some text in and press tweet. Let's go look if it is actually there. Scroll to the top and voila, it is there. Just to remind, if you'd like to see the live coding, you should join my Twitch stream. Details are on the description. There you will see me trying to implement these features in raw form. I don't always get things right or complete, but struggling is a part of the process. So what you see here is the completed work where I fixed the bugs and corrected a few things. So let's quickly take a look how this was done. All of these changes reside in two files. Uh, let's jump to the Painter class. Flutter is declarative. We set the objects and properties in the constructor of a widget. So here we are in the custom painter method. As you can see, it receives a canvas and a size and the drawing operations are performed on them. This canvas is sent in by the Flutter framework. So what we want to do is to call paint method and provide our own canvas. Let's try this out in the widget. I will create a method called get snapshot and create a paint object like this. Remember, our state for painter is maintained in this class. So we can create the paint object with these args just as we do in the build method. and we will call the paint method on it. Mind you, we have to provide a canvas. So let's create a canvas. Let's take a look at the docs. Canvas constructor needs a picture recorder. So let's give it one. It's easy because we can just create a new one like this. Add the dart UI package and set an alias called UI so we know what we are calling. Call end recording to finish the capture. This call returns a picture object from which we can extract an image. It returns a future, so we return that from this function. Now let's call this on a button tab.
we can make use of the build save button function we created earlier. Let's jump into share map method. Test it out first. Now our Get snapshot method is in the mind map widget. In order to get a reference to the widget state, we can use a global key. We create a global key like this. We set the template parameter to mind map widget state class. We have to quickly remove the underscore from this uh, from its name because a name starting with underscore means it's private. Now we have to set this global key to the mind map widget. This is done in the build method where it is attached. With that done, we get the current state and call the get snapshot method on it. Marvelous. Now we want to see the screenshot just to make sure it actually captured something. So let's create an alert dialog and call show dialog on it. With a bit of wrangling, we can set the pictured image to an image widget on the alert dialog. And presto, it works. Thanks to Fuck Tran for that little tidbit. Okay, now that we have that, let's look at this share package to actually do the sharing.
quickly putting that in the pub spec and update. We call share files on that with a file name. Mind you here, we have to save the PNG file we captured to a temp file and give it a file name. Okay, so that's how we do that. Now, when we click on the share button, it should show the share dialog of the device. Since this is the simulator, it doesn't correctly work on it. But when you run this code on the actual device, as you've seen at the start, it shows the share window and you can select the target app to share. So that's all there is to it, pretty simple. So in this video series, I showed you how to create a mind map app from scratch. A few of you have wondered where the Flutter create is. Well, even though I've not shown running the Flutter create command, the first video is right after running Flutter create. It's the basic Flutter project creation. I'm planning to release this app on App Store and Google Play Store soon, and you can use it freely. In the next video, I may do something different, switch to Golang and do some backend work maybe. Thanks for watching. As usual, if you like what I create, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you want to see something specific done. I'll do my best to cover them here or in Twitch stream. Join me next time.